Welcome back, everyone, to the next installment of Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare. We dealt a whole lot with a fort in this game, and we're still dealing with it. Where are we now, though? I saw a glowy. I'll take the first aid kit. A metallic half ring. Well, I had one of those on my tripod thing, so let's combine those rings. Metallic ring. A metal ring made from two half rings. A plasma cannon? And a charm of saving. Yeah, this is the gas cartridge thing. Pretty nice. Aline, this is Carnby. Boy, am I happy to hear your voice. Where are you? I've reached the Circle of Stones. I know it's an Abkhani's cult place. I even know the steps to follow. You know everything that happened to me since I nearly died while landing on the island. Well, I feel like my entire vision of the world and life, all my ideas, my convictions, everything shattered. Were you able to see Obed Morton? Yes. I think he's totally lost his mind. I get the feeling you never got an answer to your questions. Oh, I did. He can't be my father, but I suppose I already knew that. But what got you thinking he was in the first place? Johnson did. He showed me a picture of Obed Morton and my mother. The dates coincided. I really wonder what he wanted by sending us out here. Anyhow, if he really wanted to get rid of us, he could have done a better job. I know better ways of doing that. Whatever, if we survive this, I'm telling you he's going to have some explaining to do. But in the meantime, I have this incantation I need to recite, facing a specific direction. It seems the Stellas bear inscriptions, and according to the papers I was able to go over, there must be some sort of planetarium on the fort, something that has to do with the Circle of Stones. I think that's just where I am now. Well, perfect. Contact me as soon as you find something, okay? Okay. Over. It's kind of off-putting how quickly Carnby dismissed Aline going like, my convictions, my my beliefs, everything seems to have been shattered. Uh, yeah, so did you find the Obed? <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. It's a little awkward going up these stairs. Okay, very awkward. What are you... Should I just walk? <laughs> is that what it is? North, south, east, and west. Yep. Now here we have a date. I'm not sure what's supposed to remind you of this, but the very, very beginning of the game indicated that today's date is Halloween 2001. I guess today's the important day we want to see about the planetary alignment. This is pretty cool. Nice. So, wait, your indications correspond to a date, to today. 
What? I think I'm starting to get it. The date of the ritual, the opening of the gate, the statues. Let me enter today's date into the planetarium control board. <sighs> it's incredible. The planets are lining up towards the east. It's like you've been doing this all your life. I'll perform the ritual and then get back to you. Carnby, be careful. Now that's a luxury I think we can't afford. Over. I guess we're skipping the part where I guide him through all those positionings and incantations. While well, running down was a lot easier than running up. Where's the thing that opened? Okay. A large bronze key and a seal and a small rusty key and a statue representing a snake. Small padlock key, it says. Small gray metal padlock key seems recent. Gilamesh. Snake skull. Alan Morton seal, A.M. Large bronze key, it's a large bronze key, wow! Now, there are two new ways out of here. Not interested in that yet. fully locked. Immediately a box of grenades. Oh, we saw those with the telescope. Aline, it's Carnby. So, Mr. Witch Doctor, how about that ritual? Yeah, you won't be laughing when I tell you I recovered a statue and some kind of stone disc. A disc that's about 10 inches wide? That's right. I need it. We absolutely have to meet right away. Okay, I'll head for the fort. You come towards me. Gotcha. Okay. Man. Oh wow, back here? Oh well this is great. Cause I wanna leave the fort. This works nicely. This works very nicely. Also, what's my health? Yeah, let's heal. Look at that, I'm just gonna leave. Oh, come on. Oh my god. I wasn't expecting that part. Did you stop chasing me? I'll still save, but it was a little scary. Okay, it loops around, doesn't matter. Is the dog still here? Maybe not. Remember this? I'm warning you. I won't hesitate to shoot. Aline? Carnby? You scared the daylights out of me. Sorry. Do I detect a regret? Stop kidding. I have the impression that all this is getting us nowhere. I found nothing but scraps of information, pieces of a puzzle that don't fit together. 
like this seal. A seal? Show me. Not so fast. Do you have the stone disc? Oh, I appreciate your confidence. Sorry, but I've learned to be suspicious of everything. Whether you like it or not, we're partners, and we don't have time to waste. Okay, then, if talking to me is such a waste of time... That's not what I meant. But it is what you said. Here's the seal. Give me the stone disc. I need it. Damn, she's good. By the way, I really appreciate that even the same scenes are not the same scenes. These are worth watching twice. Because when we played as Carnby, he said, Ooh, what are you going to give me in exchange? And Aline was like, really? Whereas in this version, she's like, I got to be suspicious. What do you have? Like, it's, it's a different interpretation. It's very clever. Anyway, I have the stone, Stella. Okay, but I want to tell you that I really admire your courage. And only my courage? We'll see about the rest some other time. Go on. Good luck. You too, Carnby. Okay. Stone Stella. A circular stone Stella, one foot in diameter. It bears an uncanny symbol in low relief. Another scene. It just takes us back here. This game is so much kinder with navigation for Aline than it is for Carnby. Unbelievable. Charmer saving and spooky lightning. I'll save. Yeah, there's that recess there. So... Uh, yep. A luminescent stone. An Afghan statue representing a fish. Carnby, I have three statues. Me too. And I hope Edenshaw has the seventh one. We have to go meet him at the gate. I think everything's about to unfold right now. But how do I get there? According to Alan's diary, there's a passageway that starts in the fort. Carnby, you're so helpful that sometimes I have the feeling I couldn't do without you. Aline, let's stop wasting more time. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, thanks, bye. Alright, so... Heliopanner, Fisher's Skull. What about that luminescent stone? Is it called something different? There it is, Apcanis Energy Stone. A magical Apcanis stone, it shines with an unreal light. Well... Put it in the metallic ring. Ho oh, ho! Metallic ring with Epcanis Energy Stone. A metal ring made from two half rings with the magical Epcanis Stone inserted. It shines with an unreal light. Marvelous. And now... Perforator with Energy Stone. A perforator made from a photoelectric pulsar equipped with a tempered steel barrel and a tripod support. Now I gotta do some navigation. I think I might need to go up and out to go to the workshop. Also, I don't hear those annoying creatures anymore. Does that imply that the ones that entered the planetarium were the ones that were out there in the courtyard? Or is it just a despawn-respawn situation? Whatever the case, I'm looking for the workshop where I used that strange machine with the steel ingot. And I hear that enemy that I've left here since the beginning of the fort. Maybe I'll just get rid of it. No. That, uh, that is so good. Was this the, the thing? Was this it? Yeah, it is.
Time to go to a place that I've never even tried before. Here. Climb the ladder. Lightning conductor room, first floor. Oh boy. Anything else here? Do I keep climbing? More of this. I'm actually going to keep climbing. Tower Terrace. The trapdoor is padlocked. Well, small padlock key. You take off the padlock, securing the trapdoor. Okay, let's go back down. Pull the lever, sure. That's how you open that thing. Oh. A control panel. Pull the lever. That's cool. All right, here it comes. This, I hope, is the final showdown, but it's very annoying keeping this guy in check. See, I want him to do those traversal leaps. There. That is so hard to do. And I gotta do it again. It's very difficult. It is actually incredible that I'm getting it this easily. This is like my fifth reload. But, I believe I have to do it one more time. Didn't work that time. I have a minute to get this to work. It's fine. Yeah, he's smart enough to know not to do it if the lightning's already uh, coming down. I have to trick him into it. Oh man, that took a while. I think we're done. Do I still have a countdown? Wait a minute. Actually, this is okay. Pull the lever, let's turn it off. That's all well and good. There's nothing to search on the guy, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna refresh the room so I don't have to do this boss fight again, because that was actually really frustrating. Now we're right back up, let's save. I believe I've taken out Howard for super duper real this time. The body's gone, but that's fine. The room effectively reset. Now, remember what we said about needing the power of lightning for science? Pull the lever again, I have two minutes. Let's go. And the timing is actually really tight. Can I make it all the way to the Obliette? In time. 
Too bad I'm crawling down these stairs, right? It is a lot of pressure to only have gone a screen or two and realize, oh, you have a minute. I hear the creatures again. I guess they're back. Oh, they're on this side this time. I'm definitely getting tagged. Okay, this is the Obliad. Can I make it in time? I want to make it to the cannon that needed the perforator to be used with it. 30 seconds. There's a piece missing. You ready? shot has destroyed the perforator. Too bad, but it also blew out that door. However, whoa. I'll run this thing around in a circle. I'd rather not fight that. You who can read our language, know that you are at the threshold of another world. All that surrounds you was built by us, the guardians of your people. We have built a majestic world to honor the memory of the ancestral combats fought here. Our fathers' fathers sacrificed their lives, and we, their children, will never forget that our role is... is pay them... is to pay them... infinite homage. Photoelectric Pulsar! Climb down the ladder? Yeah. Underground River, another new area. If you remember from Carnby's story, he got sucked into the Dark World, uh, and Aline did not. So we're just not doing that. We have a completely different final dungeon, which is amazing. Let's save, because we got a lot done there. Just go down the stairs. We're in the collapsed well. Look at this. End of Resident Evil 1 Remake. You gotta get into the lab. Speaking of which, we're not doing the underground lab either. That's Carnby's business. Oh, this is where we meet up with them. So this is what was on the north side. So I guess we're ultimately going to go to the south side because that's where the big climax happens. I'm trying to see where I walk. Oh, I just press spacebar. <laughs> I see we both reached the same point. We don't have much time. We gotta hurry. Or else our sacrifice will be useless. Now you're talking like a native. I feel like I've been entrusted with a mission. Yeah, welcome to the club. There's a stella with some inscriptions over there. I'd like to know what it says. Follow me. Okay. So, can you transcribe it? Wait. No, but I can translate it. Transcribing it is just is writing it down on another piece of paper. The gate that holds the darkness back in the folds of the earth. Thou who are about to open it. We've heard this. Thou must know that the night pushes the darkness back into these caves while the sun calls them out. Thus... 
if the gate is opened, whilst the orb of day casts its first light, the darkness will spill out across the world, paving the way for its creatures, who will then roam the surface of the earth, feeding off the blood of all the children of light. That doesn't sound good. I love could that. Say that again. That doesn't sound good. Just one scene after another. I think these must be the seven gods of light. Yeah, and that guy in the middle, that's got to be Hecaton Kyrus, the god of gods. Hey, do you believe in that legend? Hey, do you believe in this island? Come on, let's hurry up. This will be the big moments with the Mortons, I think. Okay, just go straight across. We remember what this led to. Do you think I can use the trapdoor? Yeah, it's all the same stuff. Five first aid, battery charger, lightning gun, charms of saving. This is great. I might as well go to the lightning gun. All right, we've seen this scene where Edward gets sucked into the door, and I don't know what happens to Aline. I'm going to skip this. Here's the FMV. Edward gets sucked into the door, and... I am begging you, do not give up. If I do not recover the seventh statue, we are all doomed. But Carnby is dead. I'll never be able to make it on my own. Your friend is not dead. If he were dead, it would mean the gods of light have given up on us. And then we would have no choice but to kneel down and wait for the shadows. Believe me, Carnby is not dead. I know what Alan wishes. He wants to make the Seventh Statue disappear in the depths of the shadows, thus preventing me from carrying out the ritual. You must stop him before the sun comes up and the shadows spill out. Do you realize what you're asking me? I came here to authenticate a translation and meet Obed Morton, and I end up risking my life every five seconds fighting terrifying creatures. Our fate is written, but we do not know how to read it. Learn to remember your dreams and make your mind up. You know very well that I can't say no. I've come too far already. Beyond the gate, you will have to survive. Remember that the waters of the springs you will find can cure you of all harm. But beware, they are few. Go now. Our world is in your hands. Okay. I came here to authenticate. <laughs> it's it's just authenticate. It's fine. Anyway, now I'm in here. Welcome to the world of darkness. I guess I also am able to access it. Here we go. It's game time. Down we go, watch out for animals. Free first screen though, it looks like. Here's a crystal I can use, but I don't need to yet. Aline? You have no idea how happy I am to hear your voice. Aline, I had this strange dream. It's the first time I ever remembered one of my dreams. Then you must be on the right track. Where are you? On a rocky outcrop, above an abyss. You were lucky. Whatever happens, we've got to get Alan's statue back before sunrise. Edenshaw told me that the waters of the springs had powers of healing. That's good news. I promise you, we're going to make it. Okay. Oh, this is that area where we collapsed the pillar with Edward, or it collapsed on its own. Mm 
No good for me. That's a Carnby thing. 